Hi everyone, this is Marcel from Helping Hands in Snake Safety and this is the Eastern Forest Cobra. Now I've taken this snake out specifically to show you one very specific feature of cobras and that is that they can stand up and spread a hood. And most people in Zambia then immediately think, okay, now this snake is being aggressive. We must kill it before it starts killing us. But in fact, this is a defensive posture. It's showing us how big it is and how dangerous it is. And in that, it's doing us a favor because if we would leave this snake alone, now we've been warned, nothing will happen. It will calm down and it will go down again. And you have already seen it started to feel a bit more comfortable and it went down. And I have to do a lot now to make it nervous again, to make it defensive. Now this is, together with the ashes spitting cobra from the eastern part of Africa, the biggest cobra we have. It can reach up to about 2.7 meters. And that's a very big snake. It is a very potent venom, which affects the nervous system, the signals between the brain and the rest of the body. So it means that at some point you'll die from suffocation because you can't breathe anymore. But there's also cytotoxic component in the venom, which means that the bite is very painful and leads to a bit of necrosis and swelling. So it's a very bad bite from this snake. However, there are not many recorded bites because this snake, like its name already says, lives in the forest and usually stays away from people. It's a shy snake. So what it's doing now, it's not being aggressive. It just wants to get away. It's not trying to get to me, it's trying to get to the tree. See, the moment I leave it alone, it will want to get away from me. So now it's looking for somewhere to hide. And as soon as I will behave wildly, it will be defensive again. You see, now it's very defensive. It's afraid of me. And that's why they do what they do. All cobras do this, and some cobras, like the, the black neck spitting cobra and the Mozambique spitting cobra, they can spit their venom at potential predators. Again, that is a defense mechanism. It's not a sign of aggression. They would not do that to prey. So another thing that is important is that a lot of people have seen footage of such snakes from especially India, um, but also other Asian countries, where somebody's playing a flute and moving around, and the snake is dancing to the music. Now, snakes have no external ears. They can't hear the flute. What they can is see movement. They follow the movement of the flute. So let's see if that works. If I move my hands, it's following my movement. You see, here it goes. If I move more this side, it follows me. It follows the flute, and you see them, the, the guys tapping also. It's all to attract, move, make great movement in the snake. And the tourists think, oh, look at, they've taught the cobra how to dance to the music. But snakes are almost completely deaf. They have no outer ear, they only have an inner ear. And that's because when they move to undergrowth or in a tree, ears would be in the way. They want to slither nicely. Yeah, the whole body is very smooth. Ears would stick out, they would be in the way. Another very clear explanation why this is the fence is if this snake really would want to bite me, it wouldn't warn me, it would just bite me. But it's warning me, leave me alone. So if you ever see a cobra doing this, it does you a favor, move away from the snake and call a snake remover. You'll find the list on our website, www.hhiss.com. Eastern Forest Cobra.